Welcome Guillermo Salinas, right here in Jackson, Mississippi, who is a pastry chef, an artist, and a maker. Guillermo, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me, Paul. This is exciting. I'm excited to have you here. Uh, you first came on my radar when you worked for La Brioche here mm -hmm. in Jackson. And, and actually, uh, my side project, my former life, Find It in Fondren, you were mm -hmm. on our cover at one point. That was really cool. Yes, I do remember that. That was uh, um, an experience. I think it was, uh, it was a while ago, too. It was about four, four or five years. Four years. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. It's been a second. But you've done so much before that and since then. And uh, you've got something really special you're part of. We're going to talk about that in a few moments. But your, uh, your life in the pastry business and in the baking business uh, kind of comes about First and foremost, for your love of making and for art, you're a heck of an artist. Uh, tell me more about how you got into art. Um, well, I've kind of, uh, ever since I was little, I've liked the idea of just drawing and just uh, just different things. But I kind of thought it was something that everyone did. Everyone draws as a kid and everyone kind of just kept doing it. And to a certain extent, because it didn't really show anybody, just a sketches thing. And then getting into pastry, the ability to be able to just like sketch up stuff came in very useful. Um and when I was in California um, studying some uh, pastry school, uh, I had a friend that worked, um, was learning uh, just in the arts and was at a university. And she looked at my stuff and said that it looked pretty interesting that I should try applying for, you know, uh, getting into an art school. And I kept that on the back burner and didn't really think about it until um, later on um, when I wanted to go to uh, school again and submitted my application. And it turns out that people really don't draw all the time and that was a kind of unique skill and I submitted it as long with um, chocolate sculptures that I'd done and some cakes and things like that um, and they found that interesting as well so the great Bob Pennebaker professor at Bellhaven University recognized mm -hmm. your talent as a matter of fact so you're a graduate of, of Bellhaven University and uh, living here in Jackson with your wife mm -hmm. um you've had an exciting opportunity land on your uh, your plate so to speak and you are a contestant this season on Food Network's Halloween Baking Championship. How about that? Yeah, it's um, it's, it's pretty exciting. Um, I, at first, I didn't think it was actually a real thing. Um, when they sent it, I was like, this has got to be a scam of some form. Because um, <laughs> they were just like, hey, are you interested in being part of this show? And I was like, yes, but let me check it out. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I'm glad I did. Yeah, and where did that film? It was that in Los Angeles? Um, no, they have a new. Um, it was in the Discovery Studios in Knoxville. Oh wow! So a little closer to home then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You've done pretty well. You, you've had some challenges, some spooky challenges, and some scary moments on the show. But mm -hmm. uh, you've <clears throat> probably gotten to learn a lot from your fellow contestants and, and built some maybe lifelong friendships there. Yes. Um, no, we got really close. Um, just having a group of people that are passionate about the same thing and have dedicated their lives to it. Um, putting them in the same room is obviously going to be some type of connection. We all have a base love of the same thing. So just talking about each other's experiences, their lives, what, you know, what the industry has made of them and how they're doing stuff and just a bunch of talented people, but everyone having their own style and their own techniques and just learning, just even just like watching be like, Whoa, she did that. I didn't think about that. I can do that. And then, you know, back and forth. What do you feel like you, you've learned from being a part of the Halloween Baking Championship on Food Network? Um, one of the things I learned uh, is a couple things, just even judges, just paying even more attention to details, just having people break um, your stuff apart, especially like pastry. Because if you give someone something sweet, most of the time they're not going to be like, critiquing it they're like oh this is this is a cupcake i'm gonna thank you for it and it's delicious <laughs> but to have people yeah and they're not gonna you're not gonna be like well but you could have used a little bit more salt you know like it's it's rare to get that type of critique unless it's like other peers um so having judges that are very professional in their field um either be excited about something that you did and then just like pinpoint the little details that you didn't think anyone else would catch they caught it so um, I definitely learned like, every single critique, learned a little bit um, more. 
We're gonna keep watching. It's Monday nights on the Food Network. We're we're not even gonna to try to spoil the outcome. We want you to keep on all the way to the mm-hmm, end, and mm-hmm. and we're rooting for you, Guillermo, for sure. Now, before we go, I have to ask you uh, off camera before we started. You said that you had moved to Houston for a while, mm-hmm. uh, more recently, but you and your wife have come back to Jackson, Mississippi. Now, you're not a native of Jackson, Mm-mm. but you choose to make a life here. And I want to know why you choose Jackson and why do you want to make Jackson a better place? Uh, one of the things that um, my wife and I realized to being in the city is that we got a lot out from being in you know such a large city, um, but we couldn't really give anything. Um, so we felt that going back to Jackson was just a really good place. One, it's family. It's a blank slate with so much potential and it just needs people to fill it. And so we wanted to go to a place where we could set roots and really um, invest and see an impact um, be done. I love that answer. I always love to hear when folks choose to invest in Jackson, Mississippi. We're going to put links to your work and to the Halloween Baking Championship on Food Network in our show notes. Guillermo Salinas, thank you so much for being here today and good luck. Thanks for having me.